Hi guys, Don Rice here, working on the Zeroli Corsair, and it's been a couple of months, probably since uh, about the end of August, since uh, I was actually doing anything worthwhile on this airplane. So, what I've been doing here for the last few days is I've been working on mounting the ignition system, and so the plane is currently hanging by its tail and sitting on its nose and you can see the diver weights in there I'm about to pull those out uh, what's in there under these diver weights is a box so I built a box in order to house the ignition there we go Okay, and so now I've got the module slipped into place, and you can see the leads here, they go out through the firewall down this way, a little dark in here, right down there, that's like a one inch hole, it needs to be that big so I can get those uh, right angle metal plug caps to go through. Alright, so um, you can see those slots. Um, once I put some foam underneath the module, uh, this will sit up a little bit and and then I will run one wrap Velcro uh, around here through those slots and it'll compress the module uh, into the foam and that's where the module is going to rest. In here where it's reasonably cool as opposed to right behind the cylinder head uh, on the other side of the firewall, which is the only place I had elsewise to mount this thing. There you can see it with the Velcro in place. And so, theoretically, that's not going anywhere. That's the hope, anyway. Okay, so I showed you that great big hole. That's the hole that will allow these to actually slip in and out get out here to where the engine is so and I know what you're thinking Jesus that's a great big hole and you're right so I made some covers Ta-da! okay they go like that and they grab the the o-rings right here they get screwed and glued right here and that'll keep all the schmutz from getting inside the fuselage. Okay, so there it is. It's in place. And so you can see it holds these nice and firm. And it seals off uh, the, that big hole that you saw. Now this hole is a different thing altogether. That's where one of the exhaust tubes and I still have a lot of work to do there. But, at least now I have my ignition these do make it all the way around to where they need to be for the spark plugs, which is good. And got a nice, clean, protected rubber O-ring thingy going on here. And, and there you can see the, the mount inside, you know, holding the ignition. So hopefully this will all work out and be, uh, you know, super robust and, and never fall off. And, can't see in there it's too damn dark later all right so hopefully you guys will be able to see what's going on in here this is the back side of the firewall and uh, as I just showed you that's the ignition module I've taken out the foam that's underneath it uh, and so everything's a little bit loose same with the this is new so this box was made to hold the ignition battery which is an a123 2500 a milliamp battery uh, so that box has now been made so they sit kind of side by side on the back side of the firewall um, and just trying to make things neat and tidy and so that the the wire runs can be nice and neat and uh, and hopefully robust you know the hope here is that those boxes will last 
uh, until this airplane you know destroys itself. So anyway, that's the end of the ignition mounting process. So that's how that all works. Later.